No, so depending on what test I do, I come up as a Slytherin or a Ravenclaw. Totally a Gryffindor. Really? All the time. I yeah, every you're time. You're a Slytherin for sure. It's totally. boring though. You are kind Maybe of a Gryffindor. Guys. What? We're a year oh. old! Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to D News. I'm Lacey. I'm Anthony. And I'm Trace. And it is one year since we started D News. I know, can you guys believe it's been a year already? So to commemorate this event, we sorted through comments on YouTube and our social media page. You've seen the internet, right, with the social media? I have, yeah. yes. uh, We looked at all that stuff to give you an inside look at, uh, well, anything you wanted to know about the show, really. And there were a lot of comments. And the first one we chose is from Facebook. Matthew Payton asks, what do you guys do when you're not making videos? We make more videos. I At sleep, least. actually. I, uh, no I, videos. I, I do social media pages, mainly. I'm on yeah, social media. Obsessive of the internet. From Google Plus, Clifton B, what are some topics you really wanted to get more detailed about but couldn't because of the show's format, length, or demographic? All of them. Yeah, pretty much. It's hard to fit everything into the little packages we have to do sometimes. All of, I don't believe that it's all of them. What's your favoritist, favoritist? Favoritist, favoritist what? Thing that I wish that I to could go, have gone Just go all so the way, to go down. so oh, far deep into it. Just any any of the neuroscience stuff I really want to go deeper on. Uh, but there's, Those are fun. Yeah, but any of the social stuff, like anything. There's anything, and we could go on for an hour about all the stuff that we That's talk true. about. Uh, also from Lacey Nasman, what is the most embarrassing thing for you on the show. <laughs> Embarrassing. Sometimes we have like really complicated chemical names that are really <laughs> wrong. And I'm sitting here and like I'm with yeah. Pam and I'm saying it over and over and over and over again. And sometimes <laughs> even when it, the final cut, we find out that it was wrong. Like there's some chemists out there and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, like, I totally missed Yeah, that was a good try, but. <laughs> there are some weird things though because I, I found this regardless of what I'm doing a video about, there are so many things that you have only ever read in your life. You've only ever read them. Yes. No one has ever said yes. them to you yeah. ever. You've never said them loud. And true. then you're just like, oh yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, wait yeah. a second. How do you say that? That lives in my brain. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great point. That's a great point. Gray Seas wants to know how we manage to get videos out so frequently and how long it takes to make an episode from start to finish. Also, Burning Whiff wants to know if we have outtakes from those <laughs> processes. How dare yeah. we have outtakes? I feel like yeah. there's a <laughs> secret hard drive of outtakes. <laughs> Pam is there just is. And everybody just it, passes around when we're not in the room. Uh, a full episode, you know, uh, we've, we've gone over some, some of the basic stuff about this before, but mm -hmm. uh, we meet every morning. Uh, we have an editorial meeting. We decide on our uh, stories for the day. We shoot twice a day. Uh, and we usually turn them around with within like a day or two, depending yeah. on how important the news is. Yeah, yeah. And, we, and we can do that because we have a really awesome and larger team than it may appear. There are 73 <laughs> people working on the news. Seven. Approximately. If I was to turn the camera around right now, it would be like... A this Garth Brooks concert. <laughs> That's what it looks like over there. It's just as far, people as far as you can see. <laughs> it would be like 1994. That's right. <laughs> Uh, no, so we have uh, we have a couple editors, uh, and then we have our associate producers uh, who help gather all like the B roll and and put some stuff together. That's in the our pictures scripts. and yeah. stuff you see. Right. And then uh, we have our producer Pam, who yep. oversees the whole thing. So there are a lot of people, and then we've had the studio crew. There's so many people. There's a lot. There's Thanks, a lot. People. A lot of people. Thanks, that's, people. That's how we do it. We would never make a year without all those people. From Callie Dean, who or what inspired the team to follow a science career? I've always been interested in science. I used to nerd out and like fourth and fifth grade, I would go to the University of Michigan on science Saturday trips. I would take a bus an hour to go do experiments at a college when I was like, you know, 10 or 11 years old, and it just kind of kept going yeah. from there. Yeah. Just a general life of nerdery, and it sort of happened along the way, I think. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. for me, I noticed a lot of misinformation out there. People had some sort of weird ideas, and as I noticed the prevalence of that, I realized that one of the ways to fight back against misinformation was the scientific method. Mm -hmm. So it's really one of, the, one of the top ways that we have to yeah. get truths about the world. And so I think that's a cool, uh, you know, a cool way to, it's a cool lens to view the world through, is basing things on facts and evidence. Yeah, and Very I also, cool. I come from a family of a lot of uh, early childhood educators and social workers mm -hmm. and people who just work mm -hmm. with kids and in the education field. And um, man, I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I went to a school system where, where science was made boring and just uninteresting yeah. and pushed yeah. aside and the, and the educational, and, just the educational program wasn't there. Uh, one more. So, Paulius Dan. Uh, 
Oh man. We Speaking of names, Brinkley. we're gonna butcher. Uh, Polius Donis <laughs> asks the big question: What will the next year be like for D News? Uh, 3D, more explosions. <laughs> we're gonna totally. shoot an IMAX. Oh, it's gonna be great. Yeah, That's right. it's um, gonna be Christopher Nolan directing though the whole time. I, I personally am hoping that we can explore topics in a different way, mm -hmm. sort of have some different yeah. formats. And we've been talking about maybe doing something like that. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, we would like to know what you would like to see in the next year. Yeah, so. you guys should give us some ideas because we're talking sure. about it. So. Right. so guys, I want to thank you so much for watching and subscribing and sharing and loving D News. We really appreciate all of your support. It means so much more than you may understand. One year down. And we're just getting started, guys. It's only been a year. We got a lot more. That's right.